Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Thursday, October 10, 2024. Here's an update on our 1950 22 foot Chris Craft U22 utility. As you can see, we have the bottom completely removed. We have the port hull side completely stripped. Starboard, we're about 50% of the way. And I have to say that typically, and I think if you look through our videos, you would agree, Snake Mountain Boat Works is forever trying to save boats that have been attacked by carpenter ants, rot, lack of management and maintenance, and just plain old age. Well, here's the counter example. Her name's Connie, and I got to tell you, Connie has aged incredibly well. It's very clear by this point that her owners have made maintaining her properly a huge priority. The hull sides, this mahogany is just excellent. Uh, if you remember, we uh, did observe that somebody went at it with an orbital sander and we still have to deal with that. But at least we have all of the finishes off of it. And we have found nary a bit of rot, evidence of poor treatment. But here's what's really exciting. These are the battens that are installed between the frames when we're, as the new bottom is going on. Usually those things are just grease sodden junk. In this boat, our only task is to clean them a little bit and of course toothpick them to, so that we don't have all of those open holes. But not only is every frame in this boat in perfect condition, the stringers are in perfect condition, but the battens are as well. So we'll be able to reuse them. The keel is absolutely sound. This whole monolithic structure that uh, is really the, what keeps the prop shaft and the rudder true, excellent. We have one little bit of repair to do right here. That in terms of wooden repair, and I believe on the other corner we face, yeah, just, just a little bit. And of course, again, the problem is that these, this, this joint sits behind barrel wood, um, uh, the barrel strips, and so it, it tends to uh, capture and hold water. We have not taken the spray rails off yet, and it's so often the case that uh, we find quite a bit of rot behind them. Uh, right now, I don't see evidence of rot, at least having migrated beyond the joint, but we'll know more once we get it apart. So we've milled out all of the bottom planking, and once Rick has Toothpick the entire bottom of the boat, and we've painted it with Chris Craft mahogany bilge paint. We'll be able to begin laying in her inner layer, and it won't be long after that that the longitudinal exterior planking which are quarter sawn FAS grade Philippine mahogany will begin going on bedded, of course, heavily in 3M5200. Everything will be sealed with four coats of CPES. Uh, but this is really exciting. This is 
most original. None of this that you see before you post dates 1950 when this boat left the Chris Craft factory in Algonac, Michigan. So it's exciting. It's an exciting update to repair to re share with you. And we will be back. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.